Hey guys, thank you for coming to my channel, Healing to Express. We're going to go ahead and get a message for our divine feminines out here, all right? We're going to work with the Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle Cards, and we're going to work with our Keepers of the Light. So, if you know that you are a light worker, okay, most likely these messages will resonate with you. We're going to go ahead and pull seven cards. Also, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks to all the new subscribers. But we're going to pull seven cards, and um, we're going to get messages on your gift that you have, what's happening in your life right now, something that supports your happiness, what obstacles and challenges you are overcoming, also what your angels want you to know, your guides, and what your heart wants you to know. All right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Like a white light, bright light. <laughs> My spirit guides, give me clarity messages for our divine feminines. What encouraging words do we have? All right. All right. Wow. <clears throat> the gift that you have is manifesting. Manifestation. We got Isis, magic manifestation. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused, okay? So you have the gift of being able to manifest what you want in your life. What's happening right now is infinite abundance. <laughs> Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Yes, my little channel is growing. <laughs> I'm grateful. All right. What support in your happiness is um, Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So this is what's supporting you, that you a go-getter. you keeping it moving. Yeah, that's what's supporting your happiness. All right, the challenges you're overcoming is being able to forgive others. Hmm. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So it may be a little challenge to forgive people, especially when they try to, you know, walk all over you, disrespect you, and you've been nothing but good to them, okay? It can be a challenge. But Master Jesus is here, okay, <laughs> to help you out with forgiveness. And it's mainly for you so you can move forward. Because if you can't forgive other people, how do you expect you know, God, source of divine to forgive you for your sins. Take it how it resonates. All right. Your angels want you to know that phase and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. So maybe somebody's going through an ending. Okay. But guess what? A beginning is about to start for you. Illusions are being revealed and released. So maybe you're starting to see the truth about people that you've been dealing with, that they've been trying to put illusions out there for you. Okay. But you're seeing through the illusions. Yeah. Wow. All right. What do you guys want you to know? <laughs> Awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Wow. Yeah. Guys is with you. Wow. Divine order what your heart wants you to know do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding okay so listen to your intuition it's never going to lead you wrong wow let's go ahead and get one card see what's happening <laughs> infinite abundance teacher awakens you're working on your forgiveness okay this is divine order. You're seeing through the illusions. Yeah. Wow. We got the hermit coming out for um, manifestation. So, yeah, you're going within. You're doing some soul searching. You're manifesting your dreams and your visions and your goals. They're becoming a reality. <clears throat> we got infinite abundance. We got the knight of pentacles. Yeah. 
So obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. So you might have someone coming in. They may have took a long time to come in. But when whoever you're waiting on does come in, okay, they're going to be a hard worker. They're going to be very consistent, very strong-willed, patient, okay? Or this could be even you, okay? Wow. Tell me about Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Wow. Yeah, sudden change has taken place in your life. Whatever foundation wasn't correct, okay, that was an illusion. Spirit is here to shut it down. Wow. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So if you was dealing with a relationship, okay, and it wasn't working out, guess what? The tower is here to bring about that change. Because nothing can stop you. You unstoppable. <laughs> Tell me about this forgiveness. Yeah, wow, we got the three of swords in reverse. So yeah, you're forgiving whoever broke your heart. You're coming out of a heartache. Wow. You accepting what taken what has taken place and you're trying to forgive. Yeah, and this is the truth. <laughs> you got clarity, okay? Maybe about this tower moment that you had in your life. Wow. All right. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are being revealed. Yeah, we got the hair font coming out. You're getting spiritual downloads, okay? Spiritual wisdom. You're tapping in to the Akasha records, okay? Yeah. Wow, you are awakening. The universe is with you, okay? You got to know that, that you are protected. Yeah, judgment is here. You're going through an awakening. Huh. It's an inner calling. Absolutely, you're being rebirthed right now, Divine Feminines. You're stepping into your power. Yeah. Tell me about do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, yeah. So maybe you're going to have some fast action going on. Maybe some communication is coming into you. Okay. Maybe you had to shut something down. Something was illuminated. Maybe it was some secrets that you found out about. You need to do what's right. It's an important lesson in what you found out to be true, okay? Love yourself. Spirit loves you. You're, you're about to have a new beginning. You could have new friends coming in, new lovers, okay? Take it how it resonates. But this is for you guys. Wow. Let's see what, where you at on your journey. What other messages, spirit, do we have for our divine feminine? Words of encouragement. All right. Yeah, we got abundance coming out. I am limitless being and I can manifest uh huh, whatever I desire in the physical reality. And this is what your gift is. Okay. Being able to manifest what you want. So if you want abundance in your life, manifest it. Put in the work. Wow, we got fear, okay? You might be a little afraid about something. But it says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in, an immer in the energy of love. I, am, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, right? When you live in love, love overcomes fear, okay? Love even covers a multitude of sins. Yeah, we got purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you know what you're here to do. Just keep surrendering to spirit. Okay, I can release my need to control. Whatever you're dealing with, don't even try to control it. Just let it flow. It's all working for your good. Even the bad, okay? Now let's see what we activating up in here. <laughs> what message is spirit? Our divine feminines. What's going on? What are we activating? Wow, we got soul time. All right. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibilities of a new reality to emerge. 
one that embraces the concept that while the corpse body is mortal, the soul is time timeless, limitless, excuse me, and infinite. Wow. So we're definitely moving into a new dimension, okay? Into a new reality. You have to change your perspective on how things used to be. Is there's no is no more that way. A new earth is coming in. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Now that we are awakening into a consciousness of a much larger story than a singular lifetime on earth and a defined three-dimensional reality, we slowly start to realize that time as we know it no longer applies. Huh. Besides going back into the past and going forward into the future, we find spaces that are far and in between spaces that are infinite we have arrived in soul time. Wow. Soul time meaning having access to all the experiences that the soul has been through, is going through, and will go through. All in any given moment that we choose to demonstrate this evolution of linear time, the soul time activation has been created from a re repetition of the infinite sign infinity sign the purple refers to our connection to the higher realism and source wow <clears throat> a connection that needs to be securely established in order for us to experience time outside the reality of three dimension dimension the yellow is our inner power in the way we manifest ourselves here on earth. The hexagons in the image refer to the form-based world, which is linear and three-dimensional. Yet an equal component in our experience of reality and time. Wow. Okay, you can try this. It says, close your eyes and contemplate for a moment. Your infinity in as a soul. What is your soul circulations? What circumstances and experiences have you created for yourself so you can evolve towards your highest expression? Are you including the messages that come to you through your dreams and your intuition? Keep a dream journal so you don't miss a thing. Wow. So now we're, we're tapping into our soul time. Being able to go back into time, okay, and have an experience. A new reality is being emerged right now. Divine Feminines? <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some other messages. We're going to pull from the Whisper of Love. What messages do we have for our divine feminines? Holy Spirit. Oh, these cards are so big. And we get one. Okay. We got demonstrate love. Wow. It says, find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Wow. Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. Wow. Beautiful. We're going to get one more. And this is, we're going to end. Okay. Okay. The encouraging words for our divine feminines. <laughs> Let's see. I got all these decks, okay? We're going to get one from the affirmation. All right, spirit. Let me get one more card of affirmation for our divine feminines. a lot. All right, I'll pull that one. We got engagement. 
Today, I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if I'm not outside a 7-Eleven. <laughs> At the very least, I'll have a day that slightly that's slightly more interesting than average. And at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. This is the message I have for you, Divine Feminines. Like, subscribe, guys.